All right, guys. So today we are talking about Warzone 2 and more importantly in Warzone 2, the new backpack or inventory mechanic inside Warzone 2. Uh, I feel like this is going to be a very important aspect to understand when you want to win more games in Warzone, especially in the early rounds and towards the end. So the backpacks, there's a small inventory and I believe it's a large one. I haven't ran into a medium one yet, but essentially you can carry more with a large one. But this is the standard backpack here that what I consider small. And you have six inventory slots and one of them is going to be dedicated to your money. So essentially you're gonna have five here. And what I highly recommend you guys to do, uh, depending on what game mode you're playing, run two to three stacks of armor inside your backpack. All right, so as you can see here, I have two stacks. So that's good. And I'm gonna have an extra single stack here of three inside my loadout. But the reason why you wanna run two to three inside your backpack, so that's gonna be three to four total. The reason why you wanna do that is because in Warzone, there's such a fast TTK, you lose all your armor like instantly if you get into one gunfight. And depending on the game mode you're playing, if you're playing quads, if you're playing solos, you want multiple stacks of this armor to make sure that you can engage on multiple enemies. All right, so for example, right here, I am playing solos, but if you're playing qu like quads, let's say quads, right? I have three stacks of armor for three different engagements with four people so i would like to have three inside my backpack and one stack inside my loadout and the reason why is because you have three stacks per individual you're going to be fighting um if i had three stacks right here so or yeah, three stacks of armor so two were in my inventory and one in my loadout and i was playing quads if I did not get a clean down on the first person, this is going to be an issue because they're going to knock my armor and I'm able to get what, like three people down. And then once I fight that last person, I'm only going to have, I'm not going to have any more plates and whatever else I have on my body right now. So I highly recommend you guys prioritize armor for the first two to three slots. But then after your two to three slots, you should definitely either get kill streaks or lethals and uh, the reason why you want to focus on kill streaks or lethals is because you want to be able to use these items right away okay uh, do not be do not carry extra ammunition unless you're running like rocket launchers or something I highly do not recommend you guys do that because you guys have reserve ammo right here you guys see on this bottom left corner here there is reserved ammo so you don't need to carry extra ammo unless you're like spraying and praying but I highly recommend you guys do not do that um, you guys can be carrying extra trophies or whatever you guys want, but I will prioritize carrying two to three stacks of shields inside your backpack. And then the rest, I would focus on running lethals or kill streaks. Okay. And then here is an example of a large backpack. As you guys can see, you get to carry one extra gun, right? And then I believe there's 10 like 10 inventory boxes right here. So I would still highly recommend you guys run three three uh stacks of armor at minimum but if you guys can i would run a fourth one because you're planning on engaging your enemies right this is if you're trying to play very aggressive um after you run one two three four stacks of armor then you could run like two stacks of lethals and then over here these last three stacks you guys could go ahead and run whatever the hell you guys want if you guys want extra revive kit just for the cheesiness of getting knocked and be able to like re revive yourself there's a lot more flexibility when it comes to this larger backpack compared to when you have a small backpack. And then being able to run a, a third gun, you could run like a rocket launcher, a sniper. This this changes the, your, your options when it comes to engaging your enemies and your whole arsenal when you have a larger backpack. All right, and then here we are back at the small backpack and I just wanna sum it up and really make you guys focus on this small backpack because majority of time, when you're first landing in, this is what you're going to have. You're not going to have a large backpack. And who knows, you might even play a whole game without getting a large backpack. So the small backpack, like I said, it's going to be cash. And in the next two to three slots, you're going to want armor stacks. And then these last two, you could go ahead and keep two different types of lethals, right? So like Semtex and your drill charge in case someone's behind cover. Those will greatly change how your gunfights play out because of your inventory and if you guys have the opportunity where you guys have an extra kill streak i say drop that extra lethal and then pick up a kill streak 
but I highly recommend you guys focus on mastering how you guys want to manage your inventory in Warzone because this could definitely make or break whether you win the game whether you have enough extra armor whether you got the right lethals or you got an extra uav and an airstrike so make sure you guys focus on that if you guys like this video do me a favor smash that like button comment down below what you guys think about this new like looting system and go ahead and subscribe because we want more warzone 2 mw2 gameplay peace